Okay, let's look at High Evolutionary. For those of you guys that don't know, High Evolutionary just released on Marvel Snap. Now, for full gameplay of High Evolutionary, I actually did a video on Kurt Kage. Feel free to check that out. The link in the description below. But let's get into it, okay? At the start of the game, unlock the potential of your card trip no ability. High Evolutionary, for those of you guys that don't know, his whole thing is... He gives ability to those without, you know. Basically, like, every villain has their thing in the Marvel Universe. Like, Agatha's thing is, you know, power, taking power from the undeserving type whatnot, whatnot. I'm referring to WandaVision for that. But anyway, High Evolutionary. At the start of the game, yeah, we already read this. Let's check out the first one. Wasp. Wasp has no ability, innate ability anyway. And wa her ability becomes, on reveal, affect two random enemy cards here with negative one power. See, here's the thing. I play Wasp. A lot in this version of this deck. My high evolutionary deck. But. I am so bad at this. Because I'm always like. No I need to wait. Guy get full value. You know. Guy be the most efficient. But that's not always the way to roll. Then we have Misty Knight. <clears throat> I'll be honest. I don't really use Misty Knight. A lot, unless I was playing a Patriot deck. But this version of her wouldn't work in the Patriot deck, I don't think. When you end the turn with unspent energy, give another friendly card plus one power. Okay, I guess. Shocker. On reveal, give the leftmost card in your hand minus one card. Cost now, this can be good, but it's somewhat random at some point. So, maybe like in the chaos deck hybrid thing, not entirely sure. Then we have Cyclops when you end a turn with unspent energy, affect two random enemies here with minus one power. You'll see a theme going here. Um, so, a full counter to this deck is Luke Cage, I believe. So, definitely, but shh, don't tell anyone I told you guys that, okay? Next, we're going with The Thing. On reveal, affect a random enemy card here with negative one power. Repeat this twice more. Now, it doesn't seem like they can go below zero with this effect for some reason. I don't know if that's intentional, if that's a bug, or whatnot. If you know, feel free to let me know. Comment section below. Then we have Abomination, or A-Bomb as the kids call him. Cost one less for each enemy card in play that's affected with negative power. So, it said that's affected with negative power, not that you put negative power on. So, the catch here is, on one hand, it makes it so you can actually have the areas that give the opponent negative whatnot. But on the other hand, again, if they use something like Luke Cage, this isn't going to be caught less at all. And also, like if you affect the same card with like five negative power, it does not. It only would reduce it by one because you're only infecting one. 
And then finally, we have the Hawk. Ongoing, plus two power for each turn you end with unspent energy. So this is, I mean, low-key a better sunspot in my opinion. The only downside of the Hawk that I can see in this form is that you would need to find a way to either cheat him out or get more energy or just play it so he is the last card that you play because he can have a lot of power because of the fact that his ability is ongoing it goes throughout the game and just adds up so that definitely is something to keep in mind and He's one of the few cards I feel like that's not affected by the opponent having a Luke Cage. So keep that in mind. Very powerful there. I actually don't normally use Hulk in most of my decks, but in my high evolutionary deck, I sometimes feel like he might be a not must. But he's really, really, really good to have. And just for the sake of everything, we'll go over High Evolutionary 4-4. Four, four. Nothing really super amazing. I rarely would play him tempo unless you have to. For those of you guys that don't know, just a basic, like, watered-down version oversimplified version of tempo is you're playing a card for no real advantage but yeah let me know what you think of high evolutionary he is as of making this video a big bad so he will always cost six thousand tokens do you think he'd worth for your token do you think he'd not let me know comment section below and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later